my name's Tom Marsh. I'm a plein air artist. I enjoy painting the marine landscape, city landscape, the natural landscape, actually. As long as the, the light is interesting, I'll find something to paint. It's lovely. The lighting's perfect. I've seen a couple of fishing boats and the, there's the horizon of the sea which is catching the light behind them. I tend to paint slightly into the light, hence why I'm always squinting. I like to be at least at an angle into the light, if anything. So I'm just going to start blocking in now. I love marine life. I've always lived near the sea, particularly Hastings Old Town. And this fishing fleet, they're ancient. They descend literally directly from the Vikings. It's a never changing landscape. You can come here any time of day. It's always different. The tide's changing, the light's changing, the, the activity on the beach with the fishermen's changing. There's an endless, it's never the same scene. So no matter how many times I, I come here, it's ne there's always something new to paint. I've always enjoyed drawing, so drawing is where it started. And I picked up painting slowly. It was never at the forefront, really. It came in much later in life. And then I just saw some people painting outdoors, and I thought, there's something in that. But I didn't think one moment I could do it. And then I just carried on drawing, and then it must have been several years later, I just had, I had a go, I had a go, and I discovered, <laughs> to some degree I could. I could, I could just about block in something, and get an impression of what I was looking at. But there's also something else that happened, is that you realise there's so much missing if you try and capture the same image from a photograph, and paint from a photograph. It doesn't somehow seem to, all the shadows, all the shadows is, are lost, the highlights become bleached out. So you basically end up copying a photograph rather than the, the impression of what's, what you're really looking at. You've only got a limited amount of time before the light changes, the shadows change. But if you can just block in those big shapes of tone and light, you've already got 80, well, 90% of the paintings there in those few marks. So that is, I think, that is the essence of plein air. You have to be fairly decisive. And you just see something sometimes, you just think, oh, there's a person that's just walked past. You're sort of chasing the scene. You think, do I put that person in or do I... I think that's the fun as well. You're not painting a static scene. It's an ever-changing landscape. I tend to approach each painting thinking, where am I going to start? And you just have to kind of find, find your way into it. But... One of my art teachers, I remember very clearly, she said, Tom, stop squinting. And it didn't really work. I'm never thinking this would be good in a gallery. I've never had, that's never part of the, um, the narrative. It's actually very stressful. <laughs> Oops, that's not good. I don't paint people, but I guess if I was interested in it and I wanted to, I'd find a way, you know. It's, it's, I think it's more about finding something you've, you're passionate about. I think if you have, you've got that, you should, be, you should be all right. I think you'd have to go anything I'd have thought. I'm certainly not a fine painter. Locking in, getting the, getting the light right, and then sometimes, and hopefully that's enough, but I think if anything, I'll probably stop too soon. It's also working out what you leave out as much as what you put in. So the question is, do I add that sail that's hanging over the side of the boat? Probably not.
there's something about even a small oil painting can project on a small wall, on a wall. It doesn't get lost. Where I find a small watercolour needs to be observed more closely. There's just something about there's something magical about oil. So once you discover this, you never want to go back to painting indoors again. I'm not too far off. I think I'm pretty. I think I'm going to stop.